good morning, evening, and everything in between. One of the things we've been doing so far is we've been talking about doing data analysis inside of Python. And you know, we've been looking at different libraries to do that. So we've talked about NumPy, SciPy, Matplotlib, and that's what we're going to be doing today with Pandas. So Pandas is just another library out there that exists that is used for data analysis. Now, why are there so many libraries? Well, if you think about it, NumPy uh, and SciPy, what they're doing is they're sort of just doing the mathematical uh, calculations and matplotlib is just doing the plotting. Now, the reason why we also have pandas sort of also in our back pocket is there is a, another programming language out there. Uh, it's known as R. It's not bad, it's not terrible, it's, it's just another language. And one of the things that R does really well is data analysis. Specifically, it uses some object that it refers to as a data frame. Well, that's a pretty great object that we'll see uh, today. And so what we're doing is effectively saying, well, I would like to do, uh, I would like to use sort of a data frame, but inside of Python. And that's obviously where uh, we start with pandas. To at least start, even before we get to the data frame, we want to think about our data. So to start, we have something known in pandas known as the uh, series data type. And let's take a look at least uh, how that would be implemented. So uh, I've already imported my pandas, and I'll just go ahead and call this xpd.series. Uh, now the entire idea here is that uh, I have uh, some values. Now, the way I want you to think about these values for a second is uh, imagine each one of them is associated to a different quality or a different feature. So uh, let's say, for example, we're, we're going to show my age. I'm old. Uh, I'm 35. Okay. Uh, then we're going to uh, show my weight. I don't want to deal with that, but yes, I am 200 pounds. I don't know the kg for that, but I'm heavy. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and uh, do, I guess, one more. Uh, my height, my height, I'm roughly speaking about uh, 60 inches, right? 60, you know, roughly speaking, uh, 510. Okay, 510. Five times two, uh, da, 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 da. I'm 70 inches. Ah, that makes me feel better. Anyways. Now the entire idea is uh, each one of these values has an associated uh, kind of title to them. And that's where we get into the index parameter. Now the entire idea to the index parameter is what it's doing is it's, it's, it's attaching a label to our numbers. So in our case, uh, that first one is referring to my age. That second one is referring to my weight. And that last one is referring to my height. Now, if I come in and just do a print on X, right? Print on X. And what we see is that's exactly what's going on. My age, or sorry, that 35 uh, for me is being associated to the age index. Uh, my weight is being associated to the or sorry, my 200 is being associated to the weight index and the 70 is being associated to my height index. I could go in even further and look at each one of these almost as if we were treating it like a dictionary. So I could come in and just put some square brackets on my X uh, and say height. Okay, this is great, right? You know, you can uh, do some of the same things that we've done in dictionaries and object we've we've already done this so where's the benefit this is where we start to say well hang on a minute i'm dealing with multiple uh records when i'm doing data analysis i'm not just dealing with one person uh who has all of these things i might be dealing with tons of different people uh and so i have tons of different records and that's where we get into the idea of the data frame now the entire idea to the data frame is exactly that. I'm going to take these series, series, sarai, the plural of series, a series of series, uh, and I'm going to now associate them into one giant, almost think of it like its own little tiny spreadsheet. I'm just not going to see it visually. 
Now I am going to change this just a bit. I am going to start by creating a dictionary, mostly because uh, this is going to be one of the easiest ways to convert it into the data frame. So to start, I am going to go ahead and you know, start with that same thing. Let's say I have a series of data of uh, people. I'm going to say we have five people and I, I want to record their different uh, ages in this case. So uh, I was 35. Uh, we'll say that uh, I'm dealing with uh, some 21 year old, uh, a uh, 25 year old, a 45 year old, uh, and I don't know, someone fresh out of high school, an 18 year old. Okay, fair enough. Well, that's one entry, but we also had some different records that we were going through. And the second one was our uh, weight. So the same kind of thing will come in. I'll go ahead and just make my height one as well for the sake of simplicity. So again, I was 200. Uh, the 22 year old is uh, 35 pounds. I'm just kind of making numbers up as you can imagine. Uh, the 25 year old we'll say is 150. Uh, the 45 year old, uh, I'll, I don't, let's see, 45, okay, I don't know, uh, we'll say is 180, and then the 18 year old fresh out is 125. Okay, that different weights, doesn't matter, I'm the fattest one. Anyways, I will not at least be the shortest one, I will at least, uh, maintain that there are some people that are shorter than me, uh, there are, let's see, 69, um, 75 and uh, I don't know um, 58 how's that okay so I've done a lot of data I've just built out a, a dictionary whoop de doo but what I can do with this is because I've built a dictionary uh, one of the things that pandas will allow us to do is convert this into a data frame so this is another very common uh, variable name DF data frame uh, and I'll pass it in, so data frame, and simply put, I'm just going to give it D. I'm gonna give it my dictionary. Now the entire idea here is that uh, I could then take that and don't print D, print D, F. <laughs> and so that's exactly what you're seeing. I see suddenly my entry for my zeroth person, myself, 35 year old age, 200 pound weight, 70 uh, inches in height. And then I've got each one of my different people as well. Now there are some things that we can do with this. Uh, one of the things I'm going to introduce now is this idea of uh, doing exploratory data analysis in the REPL. Uh, so the REPL, uh, all this is the REPL, the console. Uh, REPL is just sort of the acronym for uh, how Python processes its data. But the reason why we are doing that is because what I can do is since I'm in here and you can see I've got a little blinking cursor going on here, I can type things in here. Literally, if I did DF, I'm going to see the exact same result. Okay, that's fine, but maybe I want to do some data analysis. Okay, well, let's say, for example, uh, DF age. Okay, so I can extract out a, a specific uh, feature uh, from each one of my people. So suddenly I have all of the ages. Well, okay, since I can do that, maybe I can do some uh, different types of analyses. And in fact, that's what uh, pandas will do for us. I can come in, for example, and say, uh, let me extract out those ages and then what is the mean of my data? Oh, okay, so roughly speaking, the average age of our, our data set is 28.8. You can already imagine that I can uh, do the exact same thing with weight and height. Now, one of the ones that I like to uh, use uh, very commonly is uh, that will come in and uh, we can also go with describe. So describe, what it's going to do is it's going to describe your data. So quite literally, if we take a look at this, it's looking at each one of the features and then it's just describing uh, all of those basic, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? All those basic statistics uh, from each one. So say for example, we have 
uh, a count of five. We have five entries for each one. What were the averaged uh, values of each one? What were those standard deviations? What were the mins, maxes? And then roughly speaking, if we were to divide this into, uh, I guess you could call it uh, quarters, here are the quarter sort of ranges for our data. So it's some fun ways that we can start using uh, pandas and we'll actually see in just a bit how we can go a little further.